Okay, today we are making an Italian dish called pepperonata. It is basically a slow cooked or stewed mixture of uh, sweet peppers, onions, and garlic. Some Italian cooks will, of course, add eggplants or other Italian vegetables, but the peppers, onions, and garlic are the, are the basics. Now, most of the peppers that are used in a pepperonata are sweet peppers. I added a, a couple of jalapenos just to spice it up a bit, but uh, you certainly don't need to. One of the keys with the peppers is to get the visual appeal. This is a beautiful, beautiful dish. So the more color you can get in your peppers, the better. I had red peppers available, but in the summer when I have banana peppers, outside. I like to add the yellow and the orange and then it's just gorgeous. As it is, it's still really pretty. Um, these and tasty. Now you can also, it's winter and if you don't have fresh peppers or uh, and you want to use jarred peppers, that's perfectly fine. The, um, the jarred peppers from the store, the roasted red peppers can be really good. Just chop them up Add a couple of fresh jalapenos or some other fresh pepper and mix it in with the onions. As you can see, everything needs to be stirred in and simmered for a while, probably you know, five minutes for everything that you add. Okay, so these are getting soft. Now we're going to add the garlic. The garlic I added after the onions and peppers because it's easy to burn garlic. Although this should be cooked over medium to medium low heat. Now we're going to add the mushrooms. And these, again, because it's winter, these are canned mushrooms. Of course, fresh works just great. Any kind of mushroom. And then what's next? So we're stirring that up. It's getting softer and softer, turning into the stewed pepper mix. Now, I put that aside um, on a different burner. It's still over low heat, so it's still cooking together and I stir it occasionally. But right now, I wanna get the burger going. Something to know about uh, making hamburger patties, especially since this is going to be bunless, so you want the hamburger to be the best patty that you can have, is I get 80-20 um, burgers from the store, which means there's 20% fat. If you go with a leaner um, grade of uh, ground beef, then you probably want to add an egg to the mixture or the patties fall apart. It's really hard. An egg will help bind it. If you get 80-20, you don't really need the egg because there's enough fat to bind it. I added one just because I like eggs. All right. so. The um, sear has been on one side, and now it's only going to be a few more minutes for the burger, so I added the olives, the capers, the red wine vinegar, and some anchovy paste. Anchovy paste is not going to be for vegetarians, so if you're going to use this pepperonata as a vegetarian um, dish, uh, I'll just leave the anchovy paste out. It's, it's still great. Okay, stir that all together um, over low heat, and the burger should be just about ready. Um, pepperonata, I'm using it on a bunless burger. Um, I'm on a low carb diet, and so that's the way I like it. It's also, pepperonata is also uh, very popular on steaks, but if you um, are plant based, it's great on pasta, on winter squash. And then of course, we end up with leftover mix often, which we'll just stir into our scrambled eggs. Had that the other day, it was absolutely wonderful. So pepperonata can be used in all kinds of ways and all kinds of diets. Here we go. My burger is done. And I'm going to um, put a little bit of the pepperonata on top of it and settle in for some comfort, Italian comfort food in the middle of winter. Doesn't get much better than that, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs>